Right, so welcome uh, to tonight's lesson. So tonight, I want us to see uh, the things that we're going to cover in this course. Yeah, I remember that last time I met you guys, the time I was doing the course introduction, we looked at some of these things, but I want you to see that most of the things, like I said last time, in uh, engineering mathematics too, you did them in NS, and uh, the advantage is that you did them in semester two. So most of the introductory things that we did, uh, rather that's what we, that we're going to do, you did them in um, NS. So let's look at the course contents. Yeah, so even before we go there, for those that have not yet made their payments, feel free to, uh, to use any of these payment, um, um, these payment uh, methods here on the screen. And um, after sending the money, just make sure that you send me the screenshot on WhatsApp. Yeah, so there are already groups that I created where I'm adding people that have paid. Yeah, which implies that starting from next week, I'm not going to be posting the link um, for the lessons in the, the general group, which I we, where everyone is. So I'm going to be posting the links in their respective groups. So for those that have paid for all the three courses, I've added them to all the three groups for mechanical, um, uh, not mechanical, rather for uh, mat material science, uh, for statics and for mathematics. And uh, I've not yet received anyone who wants to do um, um, principles of electronics which is also part of the courses that we're going to be doing. So if there's any, or if I receive any, it means that I also have to create another group for principles of electronics. And then apart from that, I think I'll also have to create a group for engineering growing, if there'll be any person who would um, love to do that with me. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. So, um, the first things that we're going to discuss in mathematics, in engineering mathematics, is just going to be a recap of what you did in our first year uh, semester two um, mathematics. So I'm going to do an introduction to calculus. Yeah, although not go in details to finding maybe the limits, uh, using the theorems, proving what, those things you'll not see them uh, in engineering mathematics. Yeah, so engineering mathematics goes direct to the points and it dwells much on um, uh, applications of uh, what you did last semester. Yeah, in semester two. So you will not find any question which is asking you to prove that what is equal to what, no. It's, um, it's just going to be purely, um, it's just going to be purely mathematics. That's why a lot of people say, as engineers, we like using shortcuts to solve mathematics. We don't follow the correct steps. Yeah, some of them, they do that. I can't, I can't argue, yeah. So the reason why they say we like using shortcuts is because we do not, uh, in, in our mathematics, we don't, we don't waste time looking at the, um, looking at the limits, those, those basic, basic principles of limits, no. Yeah, because we don't have anywhere where we apply them in mathematics, unless in pure mathematics, those that are taking pure mathematics are the ones that um, are the ones that are supposed to know those things. Even you have to know them for the sake of knowledge. Yeah, so let's uh, quickly uh, run through the course content. So when you look at the first one here, introduction to calculus, this was done last semester. So what I would do to these, um, the ones that I'm going to tick through, I'll just send the videos to the group. Make sure that you watch these videos because if you don't watch the videos, uh, some of the topics that we're going to start covering will be uh, difficult for you to understand. The videos that I'm going to send to you are very important. Watch them, don't underestimate um, them. Don't say they are simple, I can't watch this again. They are simple, but there are certain things that I mentioned there which are going to really help you to solve some of the questions that we're going to be meeting in engineering. Okay, so. Introduction to calculus. This was done in uh, uh, this was done last semester. So I'll send a video based on this. The gradient of a curve. This one you also did this. Uh, differentiation from first principle. You also did this. Differentiation from common uh, functions. You did this. 
uh, differentiation of product, you get, I mean, you did this differentiation of quotient, differentiation of functions of function. This is chain's rule, successive differentiation. Yeah, I think uh, even this one, you did it. Yeah. Let's um, look at this. So I think for us, we just want to start from the rates of changes. So we'll start from the rates of changes. I know you did this, but for the sake of revision, this is what where I'm going to start explaining from. But the other topics which I've marked these ones, um, I'm just going to send videos which are going to uh, which are going to watch so that you can have uh, just a revision on um, what you did. Yeah, so I think there's one video which explains almost everything here. Uh, so I'm going to send it to you. And then the rest of changes, these are simple. We're going to do them together. Velocity and acceleration will also do it together. The 10 points, you did these things, but for the sake of just revision, I think we may do them together. And practical problems involving maximum and minimum values, all these things are simple. You did them tangents and normals small changes. I think on this um, uh, on this part, and rather on this topic, I think the only part I'm going to cover with you, uh, the only topics I'm going to cover with you, maybe this one here, the rates of changes, small changes, and um, velocity and acceleration. Mm. Anyway, we'll do this as well. Yeah, for the sake of those that are doing mechanical engineering, at some point you need this. And then uh, turning points. Turning points is also in mechanical vibrations. So I think we may also do this together. Yeah. All right. So and mechanical vibrations is for those doing engineering, um, uh, those doing electrical engineering and uh, mechanical engineering. So you do mechanical vibrations. Okay. So for this semester. This is where I want us to start from. I want us to start from parametric, and then we go there. Yeah, we we'll, we'll finish this part uh, under parametric equations. Then we also do implicit functions. Then we finish implicit functions. We also do logarithmic differentiation. We also finish this. Um, then we also look at uh, standard differential coefficients. We'll also make sure that we do this. Then hyperbolic functions. Yeah, so this is a bit tricky and make sure that you don't miss this uh, topic. Yeah, make sure that you do it even before you we open. That's the reason why I'm here now to help you out so that when we open it to just be a revision of everything that we're going to be doing together. Then we we'll also look at the inverse functions. This is also quite confusing, but we are going to do them, meaning you are going to do these things two times, uh, which implies that they'll be simple for you. Then apart from that, logarithmic forms of inverse hyperbolic functions, these are also quite confusing, but you need to know them. I'm, I'm, I mean, you're going to know them. Yeah, so they are simple. Yeah, we look at also the partial differentiations and the total differentiations and the rates of changes using total differential equations. Yeah, the small changes using total differential equations all these things we're going to cover them before we open. Okay, so we also have these, the saddle points. These are now some of the applications of uh, what we have just um, looked at. And then we'll start uh, standard integration. So st standard integration, for well, this one, I'm not going to say you covered this. I'm not going to teach this. I will just start from the scratch because I know how people get confused when it comes to integration. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to start from the scratch and we'll do everything together. And then in integration, um, these are some of the applications for integration. We're going to do them together as well. They're very important. And then um, these are the types of, uh, or the ways that you, the ways, the ways in which you integrate uh, different functions. Yeah, so they are simple and straightforward. So we we'll also look at other inter, in the integration uh, formulas like, um, like like the reduction formula. Then we also have the integration by parts. Then we have a lot of different ways um, of integrating functions. So uh, we are going to do all these things together. 
And I sent this course content to, in the group so that you can also be having time to revise through if you have time at home. Okay. So there's also what is known as T substitution. T substitution is also very important and it needs guidance. Some people, um, some people find it difficult to understand it, but it's something that is simple and straightforward. Yeah, so we're going to do it together, don't worry. Then apart from that, we also have to do um, integration by parts, which is uh, simple. This one, you did it in NS. So just look at some of the complicated, uh, some of the questions that are very complicated, uh, the ones that um, involve integration by parts. Then apart from that, we'll look at the reduction formula, the one that I talked about. So we'll look at the reduction formula in details and how we can apply it. Yeah, so the reduction formula is basically used to uh, integrate functions that are in this format. So most of the functions that are integrated using um, integration by parts, they, are also, they can also be integrated using uh, the reduction formula. So you can see the format of the, uh, uh, the, the integrals that I'm talking about. These are the ones that we are using um, integration by parts to integrate. Okay. All right, so this is what we are going to cover uh, this semester, I mean, this holiday. Yeah, so if you have any questions, you can ask. So tonight, we're not going to learn anything. I'm just going to send a link for the introduction to differentiation so that you can just go through the basics um, of differentiation. And then once you do that, then we're going to start the applications together and um, we'll go in details. And then the part of applications, don't think the applications we're going to learn are exactly the same as what you learned in NS. Some of them might even be a bit detailed. Yeah, they will require you to think a bit. It's not just going to be as direct as those questions that you are seeing in NS, no. They are going to be a bit detailed to a point that you have at least to think before you start solving. And even as you are solving, solving you need to apply different um, things, a lot of uh, different uh, things. You need to combine a few topics together for you to come up with a solution of one um, given question. All right, so thank you very much for attending tonight's uh, lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And uh, like I said, those that have not yet um, made payments, uh, you can simply just use uh, some of, um, I mean, you can simply just use any of these uh, payment methods or uh, simply just contact me on WhatsApp and then I'll give you direction on what to do. And then for those that are um, not yet in the new groups which I created, feel free to contact me so that I can add you. Yeah. So I created about three groups, the one for statics, the one for material science, and the other one is for um, engineering mathematics. And one thing you have to understand is that all of you, as long as you are doing engineering at Mugosh University, you'll be taking the same courses. So there's nothing like I'm doing agriculture engineering, I'm doing mechanical engineering, I'm doing civil engineering, I'm doing electric engineering. You'll be in the same class for semester one and then semester two, they're going to be, I mean, they're going to split you into four groups. But for semester one, you all be in the same class, you, you all be taking the same five courses. Yeah. So everything that I'm going to be teaching this holiday is important. So make sure that you don't miss. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me if I can end the meeting. All right, okay. Okay, so since there are no questions, let's meet um, in our next lesson for mathematics. Um, and I think for now, I'm just going to send the link to the group so that you can have a look at some of the basics of differentiation. Okay, that we're going to be using or that we're going to be applying to solve other questions. Okay, see you in the next lesson. My name is Amte, shalom.